Well, you saw a guy battle, you know, really without his best command, without his good command. He had to battle through six innings. I mean, just behind the count and kept kept battling, kept, uh, you know, hung in there, made pitches when he had to make them. Um, I, I, again, even though it wasn't, he, he ended up, which his stuff is so good, you know, he's hard to hit. But, you know, you're just seeing a guy, and there's one of the outings that we're going to talk about down the road that, you know what, he didn't have real good stuff today. And you looked up, and he, he, and he pitched really, really good. Terry, Sandy had said he's going to evaluate the team before the trade deadline. These last few weeks, what do you think you showed him, the way you guys have been playing? Well, I don't know, Tim. I mean, I don't think we're, you know, we're, we're, we're swinging the bats better than we did in, before the break, except for the first, that week before the break. But, you know, these guys have competed all year. I, you know, always you're being evaluated regardless of what everybody says on wins and losses. But, you know, again, we aren't happy with the fact we don't have more wins. But, you know, again, we, we're, we just, all we can do is compete. All you can do is go out there and, you know, play nine innings as hard as you can play and then, Tip your hat and get it ready for tomorrow. And that's what kind of way we've approached it. Mike got lost because all the tack on runs you had, but you bring Familia into a, a big spot there, Terry. Can you talk about his poise? His demeanor never seems to change on the mound. Well, he's he's grown up a lot this summer. Um, you know, in, in in April he struggled, struggled with command, struggled with getting hit. Um, the more he got out there, the more confident he became, the more strikes he threw, um, using his breaking ball more effectively, used his change up, he's used his change up. He just believes in himself right now, and he believes he belongs on the mound in the big leagues, and he knows he can get people out, and uh, he doesn't get shaken up when he gives up a hit. The other night, uh, in, I think it was in Seattle, he gave a big triple of the game on the line and came back and, you know, pitched great and got out of the inning. So, uh, you know, he's... He's, he's been a big piece of our, our bullpen, and, and the back end of that bullpen is a whole different animal than it was in the beginning. Tony. Terry, in, internally, you guys had a lot of question marks coming into spring training with individual guys, Duda, Tejada, Darno, a lot of those guys. Um, from what you've seen with them over the past month, two months, uh, just how much better is the team than it was in April and May? Well, we're a lot better because they're playing the way they should. You know, when you have... Uh, when Travis went down, I, I, you know, again, I think he came back with a different attitude, different, obviously, he swung the bat tremendously. Um, you know, Ruben, when, when Wilmer came up the first time and started playing, I think Ruben said, hey, I'm a, you know, I got to get the job back and did. And Lucas, I just think the more he's out there, the more comfortable he becomes and the better player he's going to be. Um, you know, he's bound and determined to show me he can hit lefties so he can be out there all the time. Um, and that's great. That's exactly what I want him to do. I don't know how I want him to go about it. Jerry, I was going to ask you about that, a bad lefty on lefty in the seventh. And uh, I mean, he's had a great month, but is that as an important at, at bat for you and him? Yeah, Ed, and that's what he does. I mean, I've seen, I saw that. I saw it when he was coming up in the organization that, you know what, against lefties, he cuts his swing down. And he gets base hits. And, you know, he hit, works the gats, gaps. And, you know, there's certain counts where maybe you can, you know, cheat and look for a fastball. And if you get it, you can do some damage. But Lucas Duda, you know, could handle lefties. And right now, again, I think there's there's that, uh, you know, stereotypical thing that goes with his where he hits in the lineup that he's got to drive balls against everybody. And I just want him to get hits. I, I, I still believe, you know, he's going to come up with guys on base and hits are going to drive in runs. Terry, Murphy's name has been bandied about over the last several weeks as a guy who, who could go at the trade deadline. When he has a day like today, does that just kind of underscore his value to this club? Well, he's, a, he's an important piece, Mike. There's no doubt about it to our team. I mean, he's our leading hitter. He plays a, a middle of the infield position, which is a difficult position that he's worked his butt off to be good at. Um, but And I understand why his name would be out there. I mean... Uh, as I told him when, when they started, when his name started getting mentioned, good players' names are in, in big deals. And uh, if I was a team on the other side that needed a middle infielder, I'd call here too. So wouldn't, I, don't blame, I don't blame Sandy for listening. And, you know, there's, if we can get better, there may be something done. But, you know, Dan Murphy's an important part here, and we know it, and we're trying to win games here also. Since you gave Lagares that day off, have you seen the improved uh, patience at the plate and what you've been looking for? 
Yeah, until the first pitch that Omont threw to him. Um, I did. But, you know, he's, again, you know, Juan's, a, Juan's we got to get him, make sure he gets it going because he, again, we need him, we need him in the lineup, and, but we need him to, you know, be the offensive player that we know he can be too.